your reaction when you were asked to be in the body issue? Oh, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. I feel like I was like so shocked. I was just honored to be even asked and be a part of this. I started gymnastics when I was three years old. My mom, she used to say that I would do cartwheels in her stomach. Wait, wait, Go arms, tight body. This is tight. It was so much fun. I do a lot of Please. When I became an elite gymnast, I think everything kind of became less about myself and what I wanted, and it was more so for everyone around me. The Olympics was never my goal, and it was something that was put in front of me because that's what my talents allowed. That's when all the pressures kind of came in, and I just became kind of miserable. I felt like my voice was so suppressed. There was a period in time when I kind of had, I guess, more disordered eating. When I was probably 14, that's the first time I started hearing comments about my weight, which consisted of, you look like you swallowed an elephant, you look like a pig, you, your face is three times the size it was this morning. It was so, it was so normalized because all the girls around me were kind of going through the same things. It was like the medals were so much were so much more than I was. So when I was 16 years old, my back started bothering me. A vertebrae was sticking out. By the time I got home, I was like in tears. I had won that competition and my mom's like, "Aren't you happy?" It's like, "No. I'm broken mentally, physically, emotionally, everything you could imagine." When I was told that I might not ever do gymnastics again, I was forced to kind of back away from the sport. That was such a relief because I had been miserable for so long, so like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. Maybe this injury was my way out, and I didn't even want to come close to the sport again. It took a full year to miss the sport. I called Miss Val during this time. I was like, I know I don't want to do the Olympics anymore. Like, that's not my path. I kind of started taking ownership of what I wanted to do. So I changed my goal path from that to college gymnastics and knew I wanted to come to UCLA. My new goal was to find joy for the sport again and just fully do it for myself. Caitlin Ohashi has people all over the internet flipping out. The 21-year-old UCLA student tumbling into viral history with a floor routine full of gravity-defying flips, rock and dance moves, and perfect landings. The high flying co ed landing all tens from the judges, her video scoring over 39 million views, making her a viral sensation. It was a long process to get there, but I think like everything in the video that people were like, oh, she's so joyful, that's 100% how I feel about the sport. I think being able to take full ownership over my body and not allowing anyone else to have power over how I feel about myself. This was important because you get to see literally every single part of my body and there is no hiding. 